So this next problem is a little bit different. It's actually asking a different question. We want to know, is x minus 2 a factor of this? Um, in order to be a factor, you have to divide in, into the, it evenly. So that's really what it's asking. Does x minus 2 divide into this evenly? So that's what we're going to see. Um, I'm going to go back and use synthetic division. So we're going to put positive 2 in the box. And then my coefficients are 1x cubed, 0x squared, negative 19, and 30. All right, so we'll do synthetic division. Drop that. We're going to multiply and add. Multiply and add. Multiply and add. So notice that my remainder is 0. So that means that x minus 2 goes in evenly because there's no remainder. So we would say yes x minus 2 is a factor. Now, let's find something that maybe would not be a factor. If the question had been, I don't know, um, is x plus 2 a factor? If we run that through synthetic division, so I'm going to put negative 2 in the box. So 1, 0, negative 19, 30. So I'm just going to do my synthetic division real quick by multiplying and adding. Oh no, this is 1, 2. Um, oh, this time I get positive 30. Now, this time, do you see that I have a remainder? So since I have a remainder, we would say no, x plus 2 is not a factor. Okay, so if you are asked, is something a factor? You're going to do synthetic or long division, and you're going to look at the remainder. If the remainder is 0, it's a factor. If it's not 0, it's not a factor. All right, last problem. Um, we want to find the value of k so that this is a factor. x plus 1 is a factor. So what we want is we want x plus 1 to divide into it evenly. We want to have a remainder of 0. That's what we're looking for. So let's do synthetic division. Um, we're going to put negative 1 in the box. And then our coefficients are 1x cubed, kx squared, 1x, and 6. And we can do synthetic division with a k. Uh, it's actually not that bad. OK, we're going to drop this first thing. We're going to multiply negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1. And then we're going to add. Now, these are not like terms, so you're going to have to do k minus 1 like that. And then when we multiply here, um, we need to multiply both of those things by negative 1. So that gives us negative k plus 1. And then we're going to add. So 1 plus negative k plus 1 is negative k plus 2. And then when we multiply by negative 1, you just have to multiply both those things by negative 1. So that'll give us positive k minus 2. And then we're going to add 6 plus k minus 2, which is going to be k plus 4. So remember, we want this to be a factor, which means we need to have a remainder of 0. So k plus 4 has to be 0. And when we solve that, we find that k equals negative 4. So if k is negative 4, then x plus 1 is a factor of that polynomial.